Michelle. Hey, everyone. Also, I want to encourage you, those of you on Instagram, I would love to get your tags of this call on your Insta stories. What do we, you want to hashtag it, Go Getter Monday? Go Getter Monday, hashtag it. Tag as many people as you want in the call so that we can, people just get used to seeing us being together every Monday. I think that's so powerful. Um, can someone type in the hashtag? Thank you, Ashley. All right. So real quickly, I just felt like we could not have like our first Go Getter Monday without, of course, Tracy, you got to put your, <laughs> did you step away? Oh. I thought you left. I'm like, of course she's going to bathroom. Without honoring, giving credit or credit is due, without giving, I want to see like um, happy fingers, round of applause, someone can dance a shimmy. I just really want to honor her for everything she did for us last month. She is grace under fire. She is under pressure. Like I was trying my best to be like calm with my like all the things happening when I was <laughs> silently in my corner, the internet freaking out to her and Ashley a little bit. And they just handled it with such grace and ease. And I'm going to tell you guys, I've been in this business for seven years. I've been around tons of leaders. I would not want to be anywhere else than where we are right now. We have, lit, I'm gonna take my glasses off, the best upline leadership and so I just wanted to edify her and honor her and I want you guys like just just show all the love this would be a good time to do your little boomerang okay all the love for Tracy <laughs> you can type it type how much you love her in the chat box but I just really want to say how much we appreciate you Tracy because you do so much you're so organized you always have systems you're extremely dependable and we can just always 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 count on you so I asked her if she would just kind of kick this off on our first Go Getter Monday with just a couple nuggets, anything that's on her heart just before we get going. Oh, oh my gosh, that was the sweetest thing ever. You guys are going to seriously make me cry. Um, on, let me just tell you, really, it's an honor. Like it really is an honor to be here and to be able to serve all of you. Like I love this. And as crazy as it sounds, I kind of like the chaos. Like when there's chaos, I'm like, okay, I'm going to rein in the chaos. So it's, please don't ever feel like she's too busy. I don't want to bother her. Sometimes I'll reach out to people and they'll be like, well, I didn't want to bother you. And I'm like, no, I want you to come to me. And that's what I really kind of love about this business model is that it really is just about, you know, serving your team, right. And being there for them. Like, this is what it's all about. You guys is this community. Let me just tell you, if I didn't want any of this, I wouldn't be doing it, but I love it. I love being able to be there for you, serve you, and then have these amazing calls just like this. Um, let me just tell you, I don't know if you guys can relate to this because I was thinking about this a little bit before we hopped on the call in that I am going to seriously cry and I'm not a crier. Ashley knows this. We joke that we're not the criers, right? There'll be a group and everybody's crying. We're like, why are we not crying? I'm normally not the crier. Maybe it's because I have boys. And so I don't know what it is. They're not super emotional, but let me just tell you before Young Living and before all of you, before this amazing community, it was, I remember having this, like this longing to belong because here's the thing. Like in my group of friends, in my group of coworkers, and just like my circle of people, right? I remember not really feeling like I was fitting in because we were into, I was just kind of getting on the cusp of getting into natural health, right? And I remember feeling like nobody else feels like this. Am I the only one? Am I the only one here? And I felt like I was on an island. Or I remember feeling like I can't go to this corporate job anymore because I want to be with my kids. I still want to figure out a way to do something and to make money, but I don't know how to do it. And I remember people thought I was crazy, right? Like, why would you want to leave this great corporate job, right? Or having that time freedom. And I just remember feeling like the weird one on my little island, not really feeling like I belonged. It wasn't until you guys and this community where I feel like I found my people. Right. And let me just tell you, you can feel it on the calls, but you really experience it in person. This is why we always tell you, come to the retreats. If we're doing something, come, come to convention, because let me just tell you, we laugh, we cry, 
we get into shenanigans. I can't even talk about on Zoom because they're just private moments and you can't know. You gotta, if you know, you know, you gotta be there, right? But this sense of belonging and this feeling of, I found my place with this amazing community. I feel seen, I feel heard, I feel understood. Like that, that you guys is this community. It's like, like I said, not something like I've experienced anywhere else before. And this is why I feel so fortunate to be here with all of you. And so this is why I'm telling you, it's not a burden, it's not a bother. I live for this. I live for this community. I am here for it. And I just want to tell you, it's not just me. It's these awesome leaders who are here. Ashley, Rachel, Chelsea, Jen, I see Sherry on here. All the leaders on here, right? So many more who have given so much of their time. Countless leaders, right? Who pour their heart out and to help. They do it because they have it on their hearts to help all of you and because of this community and this sense of belonging. So I'm just telling you right now, this is like our ride or die community. Like we are here for it. We are here for life. Like we're young living lifers and we're in it with all of you. So it's just an honor to be here with you guys tonight. And I'm super excited. I probably spoke a little bit too much, but super excited um, to be kickstarting these Goal Getter Mondays, which was the brainchild of shouting out Jen Gaskell, who's always coming up with amazing ideas. So super excited. And just wanna tell you little tidbits um, about some of my other favorite leaders on the call, Rachel, you know, right? She's got littles at home. She's got a special needs kid, just like Chelsea. Let me just tell you guys, I have busy three boys. These ladies, like they're showing up. It's like two o'clock in the morning. It's like one o'clock in the morning for me. And they're texting me. I'm like, what are you doing up? It's like 4 a.m. for you. What are you doing? They are here for it. They are here for you, you know? Um, Ashley, you know, all of her just amazing inspiration. She's hilarious and just brings so much just motivation to all of us. I'm just telling you, it's just such an honor to be here with all of them, with all of you. So before I actually start crying crocodile tears, I feel like I need to pass it on and I could talk all night about this, but I just want to tell you, we are here for it. We're so excited to be here for you. All right. I'm going to ask Ashley, just Ashley, Jen, and Chelsea to say something real quick, because here's the thing. We are launching these for Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. I think we said till September, and y'all really need to know who's going to be, like, steering the ship. And also, after the month that we just had, I was like, let's just sprinkle some, just some positive juice on our peak for the first couple minutes. So, Ash, what are you, any, any little encouraging nuggets that you have? And then you can pass it off to Chelsea's engine. Yeah. Super simple sounding, but um, if you think you can do it, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. And I know that's something you're like, oh, geez, Ashley, that's just so lame. But here's the thing. The sale at the end of the month, maybe your lowest enrolling month, maybe your highest enrolling month, maybe you ranked up, maybe nobody in your team ranked up. Here's the thing. We are starting these at the beginning of a month because it's the beginning of a clean slate, which means we get to look at this clean slate and we get to decide what it's going to look like. We can't always make people take action, right? We don't get to do that. We encourage and show them a pathway. But what we can control is our attitude. And the other thing we can control is our actions. So we can't control outcome. We can control our attitude and we can control our actions. So what I want to encourage you is to show up tonight. Yes, we're doing some fun giveaways. Awesome. Yes, it's our first one. Here's the thing. Next week, when you are busy cleaning up dishes or your kids won't go to bed or you work night shift the night before and you're tired, like whatever it is, you have to commit to yourself to making your business a priority in August because that will pay dividends for you when we get into what I would call the harvest season, um, especially with our uh, kind of traditional business flow in the US market, the, the fall is the harvest season. And I'm not saying that it's some flow, like you don't work and you just pour out all this greatness, but it's just traditionally a time where people are looking more to wellness, looking towards gift season. And you won't reap those rewards if you don't decide that you're worth it today and you're worth it on August 2nd and that you are going to control your attitude and control your um, actions. Something that I've learned that I totally suck at about 80% of the time. I'm kidding. Probably 20% is that I don't want to waste my time discussing things that I can't actually have a part in changing. And that is um, just a great thing for all of us to think about, but especially with like 
anything that we're looking forward um, in ourselves to changing personal development wise, that I always want to take an action and not to like actually dwell in that space of what I'm bad at and to move forward, but also with things with like young living, if there's something that I'm like, oh, that was really hard. Well, guys, I can either change my attitude about it, or I can try to change the way the system works, but I don't want to just dwell in that place and complain. So as the is not super inspirational for tonight, but just where I'm at is I was so pumped up. I love the idea of every Monday gathering. So when Jen said it, I was like, I'm here for it. I don't even know what we really are going to do yet. And then we had to got to talk about it, but I'm like, I'm here for it. I love a weekly rally point. I love a weekly call and I love to see faces. So my encouragement of turning your camera on, I don't care if it's only for eight seconds of the whole time, because maybe you're now in the bathtub because you're enjoying the bubble bath. I don't know what you're doing, but I do know that I'm thankful for you. So thank you for showing up for yourself and saying yes. I also, Ivy said, you're a rambler girl. Let me just tell you something. I could talk for 18 years. So I will now mute myself and pass along the torch to the fabulous. And she actually looks really ready. And she's posing in front of her lovely oil shelf, Chelsea Gray. Hi, Bibis. So here's what I'm doing for mine. Ashley covered so much and I'm going in a different direction. Um, You're muted, Ash. I mean, Kel, you're muted. <laughs> Sorry. I had to have some sort of blunder at the beginning or during the call or it wouldn't be me being here. So Ashley covered a ton and I'm gonna go in a little bit of a different direction. Um, I want everyone to grab an oil, um, any oil, whatever's near you, except for maybe digest, because that would not be great. I want you to put it in your hand, two drops in your hand, rub your hands together and cup them over your mouth and then take three slow breaths. Okay, so while you're feeling that and smelling that and loving that, I want you guys to remember our products are like nobody else, nobody else. Your understanding of these products, and you have got to keep this in mind, guys, it is such a gift that we have the best products in the world, the best products in the world. So it makes our hustle and our heart and our sharing and all this so much easier when we can remember the hard part is done. The heart, the fact that we have the best oils in the world and the best supplements in the world, it is such a gift. So whether you signed up because you wanted a business opportunity or because you wanted your house to smell clean or things like that, we have so much greatness in our virtual offer in our, excuse me, in our shopping platform and in our catalogs. And that's what people want. So as you are moving through this Monday, next Monday, your next month, your season of harvest, whatever, it goes back to what your, like everything Ashley just said, your motivation and the products. So I want you guys to all remember how good it feels when someone messages you and goes, oh my gosh, I can sleep. Oh my gosh, my tummy feels better. No better feeling. There is no better feeling than knowing you've really helped someone. So yeah, maybe la well, last month wasn't your best enrolling month, or maybe this month isn't going to be, or maybe it is, but you're still bringing so much value with getting these products in people's hands. So I really encourage you guys um, to stay focused on that, to stay focused on nobody else has better products than us. I do not care. Who Amazon, any other direct sales, nobody in the world has what we have and drill that in to your pretty little brains because the over time, over and over and over shoot for these testimonials, help people personally so that you can get more people messaging you and saying, you helped me. You helped me. I'm so proud of you. If you're OGB gross, I'm so proud of you. If you rank, I love that, but I want you guys to all get more you helped me messages, whether it's from your business or from your products, but it all goes back to using, understanding, and honoring the effort that Young Living has put into these products for us. So please keep that in mind in the next um, coming up time. And I love you all. All 
All right. Well, they all said really awesome things and motivating and inspiring. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to say. Um, but I was thinking about this today, you guys. Um, one, we're obviously very lucky to be on this team and have the kind of support that we have. And like, I'm, I'm so grateful that I get to learn from all of you guys and the amazing leaders that we have. But today and yesterday specifically kind of made me think to when I was growing up, something that my dad always used to say when I'd be like, oh, well, I'd rather be doing that. Or, you know, that sounds like it's better or whatever. And he would always say something along the lines of the grass isn't always greener. It's only greener over the septic tank. And that's not where you want to be because it stinks over there. So I uh, like, it's just so funny because I just feel like that's, it's so true. Um, we, not every team is like ours and just being friends with crossline people, being able to go to retreats and convention and meeting people, you hear things that, you know, it makes you feel very lucky to have the team that we have and to have the opportunities that our leaders give us to walk us through these calls and take the time every single week to show up to pour into us. Um, so I just want you guys to kind of think about that. Um, and then, you know, as you're planning your week, just think about how young living really lives by the whole thing of purpose over profit, because that's something that we can emulate through our leadership as well. You know, the purpose to serve people without you know, the motivation of making a dollar off of their order, but to serve them because you really want to meet their needs and find their pain points and serve them well and love them well. And I just think that if we can always remember that, even through all of the chaos that we're kind of dealing with, you know, with the end of the month and sales and all of that, just always keep that in the back of your head, that that is what Young Living stands for is purpose over profit. And we can emulate that through our own leadership as well. So just wanted to leave you guys with those really fun little one-liners. And with that, I'll pass it back to Rachel. Um, I love that septic tank. Uh, I've never heard that. And I'm like, I'm going to use that like all, all the time. That's, that's going to, we need a t-shirt, something, bumper sticker. Um, anyways. Okay. Thank you guys. I just wanted y'all to hear from our amazing leadership. I just cannot pound that into our heads. I just cannot because we're really blessed. So, okay, what I'm gonna to talk to you guys tonight about two things. Um, some of the strategies, they're not even strategies, they're, they're reminders of some things that I have put down for several years because I didn't think that, I thought it was old school and I thought no one wants to talk to me. <laughs> and I'm like, that is just, no, don't call me text. Like we, we all say that, right? Ooh, who calls, right? So first, let me just, before I talk about care calls, oh my gosh, you guys, please don't sign off this call. Just let me, let me talk first before you do that. Before I talk about this, I want to tell you, um, I really started diving into this book. Oh, I took the, <laughs> I took the cover off. Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. Sometimes when I feel like I'm maybe a little exhausted or rattled, Rather than retreating, I force myself to dive into the fire, to be closer to the fire, the people, the things that warm me up, the things that fill me up. Even if I don't feel like it, I know it's best because we all know when things get hard, if we start to step away from the fire, if we start to step away from the water source and we start to isolate, we start to get cold because we're not near the fire. We start to get thirsty because we're not near the water source. And so in those times, you have got to develop the discipline to lean in. And um, one of the things in this book that I just love, and I highlighted it like two years ago, and I came across it today, it was a research study that they did. Um, they went into multiple places, of, like workplaces, and they did a research on high-level exhaustion, or people that are exhausted. And I'm sure you guys have heard this coming off the pandemic, that so many people are just exhausted, emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted, like everything's just exhausting. You might look at someone else's life and be like, how the heck are you exhausted, right? But we really don't know. We don't know what people struggle with, right? And so this study, basically what they found that was that while employees were in fact exhausted, well, hold on, this team went into these companies to see what was driving such high levels of exhaustion. 
what they found was that while these employees were in fact exhausted, it wasn't because of the schedule, it wasn't because of the workload, they were actually exhausted because people were lonely. Their workforces were lonely and that loneliness was manifesting itself in a feeling of exhaustion. And they talked about the studies and they talked about all the ways that they were able to prove this. And that really got me thinking, how many times have you guys been, you, you, some of you that have IV <laughs> can speak to this, hustling for rank, like you might be close for rank or you might be really focused on something and you have a team of people or you have support or you have people you're working with or people that are encouraging you or people that are leading you or cheering you on. It's a lot of hard work and it's a lot, it might seem like almost pressure, but you're not, it's not exhaustion, it's exhilaration. Okay. And so if you start to feel exhausted, like this past month, it was just hard. There's some things going on with the website, but I was able to tap in with Ashley and Tracy and Jen and I, I got filled up and it was enough gas to get me going again. So do not isolate, do not retreat. You are not a burden. You are valued in this space and on this team, okay? If you need help with something, if you have a question, please ask us. Um, Tracy and I talked about in this season, I, this, is, this is what I believe. In this season of transition with Young Living, we have, you know, in, in years past, you want to teach people to fish. You want to teach your leaders to fish. You want to teach your members to use their resources to educate themselves, find the answers, because you don't want to be <clears throat> the end all be all for everyone. Like that's in, like you want to be an RCD. You can't possibly serve that many people, correct? On a one to one basis. However, this is what I've learned this past week. In this transition, I am learning that I'm having, I'm having to give white glove service. I could not tell all my members to call member services. A lot of them did call member services because that's what they know. But member services was overwhelmed. So you know what a lot of us did, many of you guys did, we rolled up our sleeves, we put on the white gloves and we gave the white glove service. And so for me in this season, I'm committed to that. I'm committed to giving that white glove service. And so what that looks through this transition until everyone has their subscribe to save set up until they know how to log back in and figure out how to do their subscription, right? Until they know how to sign people up. You need to talk to me? Okay, great, let's, let's chat. So, so that's, that's what I'm dedicating myself to in this season of transition is this white glove service. I want to be available for my builders, available with boundaries, guys. We'll talk about that in a second into my members. I wanna model what this looks like. So it's not just me doing this, but so that my leaders can do this for their teams as well. So here's what I found. Um, I had people that could not figure out how to set up their subscription. And I was getting frustrated. I'm like leaving them voice messages and then they type something back. And I'm like taking screenshots. I was telling you like, can we just hop on the phone for five minutes, okay? And I found if I said hop on the phone for five minutes, that it was a lot easier to get people on the phone versus can I call you? Because <laughs> sometimes that freaks people out. They're like, no, don't call me. Um, but so I would do that or just I'm gonna keep it 100. I had several people say, I'm just gonna get off ER. Like this is overwhelming me. Like I'm just, I'm out. Like I don't know what to do. And so I, I said, um, I'll tell you two, two things that I said. Would you like, I would love to hop on the phone with you for five minutes and walk you through this or answer any of your questions. I can help to make this easy for you and I can help to show you. And if for some reason we can't figure this out, I am so happy to do this for you to get you over this hump. But can we connect for five minutes? And you know what? Another thing I found out, people nowadays think they're bothering you. The first sentence out of almost everyone's mouth was, oh, I just thought you were so busy. I, try, I, know, I know you're busy. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, do people look at us and just think, I'm like, this is, this is like, not only is this like, yes, it is what I do for a living, but 
like I am here to like serve and love on you. I'm here to model what this looks like of how to serve and love. I am, I am happy to be on the phone with you. Are you kidding me? And so we have to go into it with that wine mindset. Okay. Here's what happened on the phone. Was it four people that were about to get off the ER? I met them where they were. I wasn't like, so why are you trying to get off ER? I was like, I first apologized. I said, look, I don't ever want you to feel like you cannot come to me. I am here. Even if I cannot get back to you at that moment, you can guarantee that we can set up a time where I can give you that undivided attention. And so I basically was like, I am so sorry. So I first apologized and validated their feelings. And then I said, how can I help take this off of you? Is, do you want me to walk you through it? And so they would start talking and we, we started talking back and forth. Perhaps next thing I know, they're talking about the high blood pressure and their son who has sensory issues. And, and I was like, oh my gosh, tell me more about, that is so hard. You are amazing for all the things that you are. Just validating, encouraging, being the light, being positive. Um, being there for them, not being pushy, but just, just valuing them in that conversation. Do you guys know what happened? They did not get off ER. Their typical 50 PV orders were 300 PV orders, and we set up their ER for the next three months. <clears throat> I was able to say, so for your son, these are the three products I suggest. For you, these are the three products I suggest. Try it for a month. I'm going circle, to circle back with you in a couple weeks to see how you feel. And then I made a note on their account. Guys, so I, I got off those calls and I messaged Ashley and Tracy and I'm like, what just happened? Like, yes, they were phone calls. Yes, they took time. Yes, I had to have my kids in the other room. But that intentional moment of one-on-one -on -one focus of making those people feel seen and not alone in a community was massive. And those three people, I have since seen them in my group commenting. So we can view phone calls as, Ugh, or we can, so here's what I'm doing. I don't know how you guys feel about phone calls, but I, I felt connected to people and I felt like a lot got done in 10 minutes on the phone with these people. They know they can come to me They've heard my voice. They've heard the thing. Some of them have never even talked to me before and they've been on my team for five years. And that's super embarrassing to say, but that's, let's just be real. I haven't been on the phone every day. So I told Tracy, I was like in the month of August, <clears throat> my goal is to have one phone call a day. One phone call a day. So today I had my one phone call. That one phone call was with a builder. We game plan, she set, goals up for herself and for her business and I believe that we were we have become closer because of it so is it a customer no it's a builder but that again that connection of helping them feel tied to the community do Facebook groups help people feel tied yes do um chat threads yes but sometimes there are some seasons where this there's just something gold golden about it okay so this may not be everyone's jam, but I'm gonna tell you what, it did wonders for me. Even if you start off with one a week, I don't know, try it, okay? Try it and let me know how, how, how you feel about it, okay? So there's different ways of doing this um, as far as getting people on the phone. You could, uh, with your builders, you could say, hey guys, I really want to get to a space where I am like serving you on a personal level. I'm opening up 15 to 20 minutes a day these days. Who wants to hop on the phone? Um, something that Ashley and Tracy have taught me and April Pointer, before your business builders get on the phone with you, have them fill out the abundance tracker. Maybe someone will post that in here. Because here's the thing, guys. We as leaders, you may view yourself as someone like, I don't know, how am I going to lead somebody? If you have someone on your team, you're a leader and you're leading them. Okay, so rather than saying, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, do you have an upline that could help guide you that could send you the link to that abundance tracker that could give you a couple questions that could help guide that conversation. And you have gifting, God gave you specific gifting that um, chisel you out to be the leader that you were meant to be. You might be someone who is an encourager, who is a helper, 
who comes alongside like no one else to your team. You might be someone that's a challenger and you speak, you speak life over people and you challenge people to step out of their comfort zone. So lean into those giftings with your business builders and build that confidence. For your customers, you could do the same things with them. So whether you do PB, whether you have a Facebook group, open it up. Say, hey, I am doing, I have opened my schedule up and I really value who you are in this community. And I want to get more um, one-on-one with your, your story and your needs and your healing and how anything that you have questions about I would love to hop on the phone with you for 15 minutes. Now guys, you can schedule, you can have that buffer of 20 minutes in case it's a really good conversation and you're really getting somewhere, but giving those people, oh, it's only 15 minutes, okay, I can be out, but I would really like to connect with her because I have a couple questions. I think that's a safe time frame. Um, So you can just open it up, see who takes that. you could see who has been asking questions and message them personally and say, but I mean, I always say, would it be easier if we just hop on the phone for minutes? Girl, you want me to call you? Let me call you real quick. Like I'm very, like, I bring it up because a lot of people will not bring that up. Um, again, it does require time, but for me, the reward has been so great and the connection has been so great. Can you guys honestly, like, let's just be honest here. How many times have you're like, I got to go work. I got to go. I need to sit down. I got to go work. And like, before you know it, like 10 hours have gone by and you're like, what did I actually like? What? Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Um, so for me, like I could physically see, oh my gosh, they're going to send a 300 BV. They're like commenting in my group. And it was very rewarding for me. So, um, so those are just some ideas as far as phone calls. We're going to talk zero PV real quick, and then I'm going to open it up because I want to hear from a few of you, and um, especially Ivy, who ranked as two executive last month. Woo woo, go Ivy. Um, so zero PV. If you have, excuse me, I'm sorry, I need water in here. We'll just keep looking. If you have any people that have zero PV, meaning they have not spent anything, I mean. I think when I do this, I'm going to pull a report for four to five months, maybe three months. Um, But my plan is to contact all my zero PV people this week. And this is what I'm going to say. So I was supposed to do this last month. And I told my leaders I was going to do this. But then things just got a little weird. And I was like, I I would love to go into August doing this like fresh, you know. And so one of my friends shared with me a PB or project broadcast. Now she did a text. If you do not have PB, think about how you communicate with your people. Is it an email? Is it personal message? How is it? Okay, I don't know the size of everyone's team, but I'm gonna put this message. I guess while someone's while someone else is talking, I'll type it up and put it in the chat. And then if you're watching the recording, please message one of us. We'll get it to you. But basically, this is what it says. Hi, Susan. It's me, Rachel, aka your backup Young Living support person. Your first go-to is the person who helps you get started with Young Living. So, okay, let me keep reading. Sorry. Just checking in with you. I bet you have some oils you haven't used yet. Can I help you figure out what those oils are good for? We all invested good money into our starter kits and I wanna make sure you're using and loving your products, but most importantly that you know how to use them. I would also like to get you some goodies in the mail. So I'm interested in learning your current health goals as well. Just let me know what you've got going on. Sleep question mark, mood question mark, immunity question mark, energy, focus, pain, emotions, what else? Okay, so what does that do? Like, oh, they aren't the person that signed me up, but they're reaching down to support. You're also acknowledging that they have an amazing person that signed them up. Again, get with your leaders because some of my leaders are doing this on their own with their people. Um, So you're covering all your bases, right? You're checking in, but you also have some goodies. And so what this looks like for me is I'm going to do rollers. Okay, if you have the starter kit, guys, you could make a roller for 
sleep and add an extra oil in with that that they do not have in the starter kit or even, I mean, cedar wood. Like just think about things that you have that are outside the starter kit that you could make for them. Um, mood, gosh, you, we could just, you could literally use what you have for all these. You could do five milliliter rollers. Um, again, this is something I am hopefully going to get people on the phone. Okay. I want people to come on the phone and tell me why they're not sleeping because yes, girl, I'm going to send you a roller, but have you tried sleep essence? It might, it might be hormonal. Have you tried diffusing clary sage? You know, so those kind of things, you should add that to your order next month. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the mail, but I would write those other few items down and I'll circle back with you and go ahead and throw those on your, you know, like that kind of verbiage of just giving people suggestions and walking them through it. Um, here's the other thing. You don't have to be the one that does all the giving of the goodies. <clears throat> My friend that did this said that her zero PV or she got tons, like I have had so far, I've had now I've had five friends have done this and they're like overwhelmed. They're like, there were so many responses. <laughs> like they're just, guys, I live for that. I'm like, I wanna be overwhelmed with responses. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes. Um, so what they're doing is if someone responds back and is like, oh yes, I really need help with energy, they will then go to the enroller and say, uh, Shelly, Shelly, hey, I just want to let you know I contacted Susan just to love on her and I offered her some free goodies for energy. I am so happy to send her some Super B or whatever, a roller. But I wanted to give you the opportunity to connect with her if that's something you want to do for her. If not, totally fine, I got it. So what, what was happening there is she was then relinking up the enroller with the zero PV, connecting that relationship. And then the enroller was like, oh my gosh, that's so kind that you would do that. So there's a lot going on there, guys. But ultimately, like for me, I want these zero PVers to feel seen, to feel part of a community. And if that means I'm sending, it does not have to be a five milliliter. It could be a two milliliter roller. Like it doesn't have to be expensive. You could do 10 zero PV people this month and do 10 next month. Again, do what your budget allows. Talk to your leaders, but start somewhere, right? Um, to move the needle. So these are my two focuses this month. My two focuses are these um, phone calls and this text that I'm sending to my zero PV people and getting them, I want to get them, if they message me back, I need help with sleep. I'm going to message their enroller. Now, if their enroller is just not an act, is not active and is out, then I will take that on and I will, I will jump on the phone, but I want to get people on the phone. <clears throat> and obviously I have some people on my team that I've enrolled that are zero PV. So getting them on the phone loving on them by giving them something free and a lot of times guys if you ask questions they'll tell you other things that are wrong they like people like to talk about themselves so if you're not someone that's real good at dialogue just keep asking questions help ashley taught me this tell me more about that i used to be like oh okay i'll tell you you want to know i'll tell you more about that and she, she'd be like oh tell me more about that i mean if any of you have talked to ashley you've heard that come out of her mouth so I, now I use it all the time. I'm like, tell me more about that. And people love that. So, so just not asking yes or no questions, but really pulling that out of people. If they have kids, ask about their kids. They don't even have to be their house. How's Johnny doing? He's doing great, but he's having this little struggle with blah, blah, blah. And because you're their oils person, they're not going to necessarily tell you that Johnny's in soccer. They're going to tell you that he's constipated because you're the oil girl, right? So just some encouragement, some out-of-box thinking for this month. You may hate me for talking about phone calls, <laughs> but guys, I put phone calls on the shelf for years. I'm super embarrassed to say that. Super embarrassed, okay? I communicate every other way, but there's something magical that happened to me on four phone calls this week that I'm going to continue it this month. So I've rambled enough. Um, I should probably, I have not looked at any questions. Tracy or Ashley, if you saw some questions you wanted to ask or. 
So Rachel, for the zero PV, are you doing that for everyone that's showing zero PV or like if they've been zero PV for like X amount of months? So I am doing it for like X amount of months. So I, for sure, I don't want to go past three months. I feel like if, well, I want to do people that I have been, oh, I see what you're saying now. People that have been zero PV for at least, at least three months. Does that make sense? Um, because I think if you let someone who get the farther away they get from not ordering, the easier it is for them to slip out, if that makes sense. So probably it'll be like two to three months, maybe. Because I want to also give their enroller the opportunity to like really follow up with them. So I don't know if I want to do this the month after they order, like just giving that space for their enroller to follow up with them. Um, and the other thing, guys, I found with young moms, I, I, you know, I have four kids. Phone calls are hard. But if someone's like, look, I would totally have to phone with you after the kids get in bed, 15 minutes, it'll be super quick. And some of the, the mom friends on my team, I, I have found that they prefer to do FaceTime. Like, I'll, I I'll always say, I'll say, do you want to jump on the phone or would you prefer to do a quick FaceTime? Don't know. So everyone's different with that. So that's me, my strategy going into this month. Okay, I want to make sure I answer questions before I like. Does anyone have questions about that? Um, oh, the last thing I want to say about exhaustion and loneliness. I love this. She said, um, always choose connection and inclusion versus busyness and exhaustion. So sometimes we feel like we're doing the right things by doing tasks and being busy, but sometimes taking that, those minutes, maybe an hour to connect and make people feel included is way more impactful than if you have a bomb post. And that's what I'm learning in this season. So I, I, I don't want to say I'm kind of glad a lot of this stuff happened with the website, but guys, it forced me. It forced me to get on the phone with these people. It forced me to connect with people that were having issues. Right, Ashley? Ashley, I saw you, you wanna you wanna say something to that? I think for us, we have to do everything that our members have to do. Members, you know, customers, brand partners. I'm trying so hard to use the right language and I keep being like, whatever the people are, all the people we have. We have to know how to do this stuff ourselves. It's not us just teaching it to them. And maybe that sounds simple, but that's really important. I think for all of us, because what we do in Young Living, we are still, and I am going to use the word members, like we're members of this organization. We are members of this community. So my ER, I don't get things for some people ask me this all the time. I think everyone here probably knows this, but I mean, for instance, I have a lot of customers that are like, oh, I'm sure you get all your product for free. And I'm like, no, no, like you get a paycheck and I pay for it with the paycheck. But Young Living doesn't just like ship me free products. I do my subscribe to save order. I hit the monthly promos if they're 300, 400, 500, whatever they are, at least twice with each of our accounts. Or, I mean, one time each. And I just want to say that for me, I've realized that the more I know how to do it myself, the better I can explain it to somebody else. But most people need visual prompts. So I have found myself doing way more Facebook message video and FaceTimes and things with people that... Um, yeah, guys, this, this is us loving and serving people in a different way. And what I mean by that is I sometimes don't know things well enough to teach them to someone else. I could post about it all day long, right? But me actually teaching them, like, then you click here and you click here. It is such a great experience. And I think for all of us at every level of our business, we will go back to the roots of what we probably all did that have been around for seven or eight years. And I did care calls, like calls, just calls, called people. On the answer, they I, I used a phone to call people. And like Rachel's talked about all night. And the reason I'm saying that is I do think seven and a half years ago, people actually answered their phones more. And like people wouldn't text me back and say, like, why did you call? Because now that totally happens <laughs> to my like project broadcast number. They're like, why did you call me and leave a voice? About? What do you need? Point the inside is guys, people want to feel like they matter. And so in this season, even if it's you walking people through how to add an item to the subscribe and save and then how to remove it the next month or whatever it is. Be willing to do that and be humble enough 
to just say, you don't know the answer. Cause I said that so in the past three days, I'm like, yep, yeah, don't know that. Nope. Don't know that. I mean, I will figure it out, but I don't, I don't ever like to be the person that says I know something. I would rather not know it and not be able to help someone than pretend like I know the answer and think their stuff is all good. And then it's like coming back to me as a mess. So I think the best way for people to hear our tone is on the phone. That did not mean to rhyme. Maybe write that down. The best people way for people to hear your tone is on the phone. Facebook, voice memos, that's great guys. But those minutes at a time, I mean, how many of y'all are like, oh my gosh, you get like 17 back and forth. It's not the same as a conversation. So a conversation is sometimes needed. And I want to encourage you, if you have a team that you're able to call all of them every month when dividing it up into five or less people a day, that might be a big challenge for you. If you have a team where you're like, I'll call my whole team, yeah, I'll call my team, and you have like 3,000 people, maybe that's not feasible. Maybe it's just you're personally enrolled, or maybe it's one leg of your team and you work it that way. But that's something historically for me that's been really helpful, especially to follow up with an email. Like if I email people and then I need to actually like make sure they saw the information or it's a text, then I'll call them as a follow-up. So if it's a leg and I'll target, I'll go through. I feel like Rachel's already told you all these strategies, but I'm just saying this to you as a person that sometimes feels like I don't have enough to give to people when they have a specific question. I just want to respond. Sometimes I'd be like, you just click the word. Like you just add it to your cart. They really need me to just call them. And that's what uh, Rachel led me to do a lot of last week because people were going back and forth so much with me. And finally, I like called people that I'm like, I don't know where you are on my team and I don't really care. I don't know how to say your name. I don't know who you are because your email address says like that cute puppy or whatever, but you know, we got it figured out. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. When people don't have their names on things and you're talking to them and then you're like, this is hilarious because I don't know who you are. And maybe that doesn't happen to anyone else, but that happens to me or on Instagram, they have like um, that hot butt or something. And then like their member number is like eight, four, seven, nine, two, eight, four. And you're like, Hey, let me look up the member number. And then the whole time you're like that hot butt, that cute puppy, whatever it is. And then you have to figure it out. And I am saying this, I know you're laughing at me, but I'm just saying as your organization grows, what you don't want to do is fear success because you don't think you can handle it. And that is something I hear from leaders all the time, specifically at this year star and executive level. They're like, I have it really under control. It's like neat and packaged and I know where people are and I know all the things. And then they're like, okay, but if I double it, then I won't know anything. They are this like opposite. They're like, I won't know any of the people. I won't know any of the things and I won't be able to talk to them. I want to assure you, you can handle it and you will be able to because you'll be raising up leaders to do it with you. So how many people do we want to, Rachel, what do you want? What's, what, what's a good number for I you? Like, I mean, like, let's just, let's just do like, like a hot, like a, like a hot potato thing, because I would love to get as much in with this call as we can. Um, I want to see here, Ivy, can you tell us two things? Where is she? Where are you? Oh, can you tell us two okay. things that, that you did to help you get to executive last month? Or well, one thing? I reached out to some of my prospects and I've always been scared to do that because I don't want people to think that I'm like a cold messenger. Like I've never sent a cold message, but I don't want people to like be like, oh, this girl. So I messaged my prospects and just said, yeah, my mail lady, she works at the post office and I always bring in packages and she's always like, they smell so good. That smells so good. And so I'm like, I brought her samples and then she ended up enrolling. Um, and then I contacted my cousin who's under me and her and I are like really close. And her bachelorette party was last weekend. And so I messaged her and I said, hey, there's a 10% off sale because at the party she had told me about. Um, sorry, my boyfriend's yelling at our cat. Um, at the bachelorette party, she had told me that she needed a few things from Young Living. So I messaged her about the 10% off sale. And I was like, what do you need help with? Like, is there anything she had talked to me about supplements? I was like, is there anything that you like need focus on or whatever? And so that's kind of what like sent me over executive, like to executive. And I remember checking my thing because Chelsea was like, you were like $20 away, like 20 PV away from hitting executive. And then I remember checking it because we were at a friend's house and I like literally almost peed my pants. I was so excited. It was just the best feeling ever. I can't even believe it still happened. I'm still like in shock. It's crazy because I never thought I would get there. So what are, okay, 
what are some daily things that you do? Like, what are, what do you do daily for your business? What would you say is like your contribution to your, like what's something consistent that you do daily? If you could think of one thing, I mean, there's probably multiple things that you would just do with your business, would you say? Um, I try to educate a lot on Instagram. I have a lot of, I have some people that are on my team that follow me on Instagram and like will send me messages. And I try to like respond to their stories and like just say, how's your week going? Like what's going on? So like trying to connect with people on a personal level instead of it just all being about young living. I really try to do that because one, I genuinely like have friends on my team and two, like I want to be friends with people too. So like connecting more with other stuff other than just like young living stuff is what I try to do. I love that Ivy. Thank you. That's such an executive. It's a really big deal. Like that's a big, that's that a big was my goal i was like if i can just get to executive then i'll think that i can really truly do it so now i gotta hit silver <laughs> you got it girl that's so good I, it's I, a silly go ahead Sophie. so i something that that ivy's doing and a lot of people are doing we're just talking about ivy right this second that i think is really valuable um especially like star to executive level is asking a ton of questions and i know that this comes up you know people going i didn't want to ask i didn't want to bother i didn't want to but one of the things that i actually respect so much about ivy and i know katie storch does it which i super super love is is clarifying okay is this what i need to be doing is this you know, what do you think about this? Is this, and then like brainstorming at kind of every step of the way until they're comfortable enough. And then when they've mastered something, they do it on their own and move on to a new skill. And I think that makes a, that makes the building of a leader. And we've got, I, I we talked about it, Rachel talked about that with products, but we need to keep in mind both as people who are wanting to learn the business and people who are teaching the business that ask so much, ask the questions, ask so you can learn. And there, there's no, there, the leaders want to hear from you. The leaders want, and Abby says it all the time being like, I know I ask you a million questions. And like, you know, I laugh at her and stuff, but like, but that's why we're here and, you know, we enjoy it. And then knowing how hard like her and Katie and Karen and all these people, Michelle and all these people are like brainstorming with us, running with us, taking all these steps. It's not annoying. Um, but remember, as you get your own builders, how did you feel when you were like, I'm going to have to ask another question? Like, you know, so reaching out and on the, doing that being like, Hey, I'm here. Did you need anything? Like Ivy called me her voice message to me the day before the end of the month and was like, Hey, I know this sounds weird, but I might be able to get executive. What do you think? And then we did a zoom or we did a FaceTime for like 45 minutes and just planned, you know, but like, if you're comfortable doing that solo, that's great. But if you're not, your upline wants to do it with you. So never be shy reaching out for product information or business information because we are here for it. I got really excited about that. That's good. Thank you, Chelsea. Um, I would like to hear anything else that anyone else is doing this month. Like, what, is there something you have planned? Is there something different you're doing? Is there something last month that you saw worked that you want to try again? Is there an idea you have, you maybe haven't implemented yet that you would like to bounce off? Um, I would love to hear <coughs> that or what's working for you. Something that could help everyone else on this call. So I'll uh, jump in. I have to admit, I've never really reached out to brand partners specifically um, to be like, hey, are you ready to run? Like I, I would message them and then there's like never any feedback. But now that everyone's kind of rebranded, um, I really like it because it was hard to tell like who was really going to do the business and who wasn't. So I texted, I PB'd all of my brand partners today and said, hey, you know, with the new website. Um, and I said, you know, send me back a thumbs up if you want um, some weekly tips to help boost um, your business and to reboot your business and start it going again. Um, and then I put in a graphic for this call tonight, you know, for the month of calls. And um, 
So I'm hoping I can re-engage them that way because on Facebook, it's not working, but I'm sending, you know, project broadcast to all my brand partners with a weekly list of IPAs to do for their business. So that's something that I've never done that I'm starting this month. That's awesome. Sorry, I was, I'm taking it. So contacting brand member, I do love, do you guys love that you can now see like who's brand partner, who's customer? Tracy, do, is that something that you can run a report for to see if, if you have a new brand partner day to day or will there be like a notification or something that happens when someone flips to a brand partner and gets a business kit? I don't know if they're going to send a notification just yet, but you can definitely run a report to see who's a customer and who's a brand partner. And then you could always run to see who's new and kind of take it from there. But that could be something in the future. I think that'd be so amazing. But I think it's something to really kind of keep a pulse on and reach out to people who maybe you haven't made contact with yet. So you guys, this is something like a little bit different that I played around with last month, but it ended up really working out for me. I made um, like a private Instagram and I said I was going to do like a 30 day boot camp and just literally share my little butt off. And I did and it was freaking exhausting, but I ended up getting signed seven signups last month, which is high for like me these days. Um, like I'm not, I'm no longer a high enroller on this team, um, but that was high for me. And I know it was a direct result of that because I, it was private. I only let people in my team on it or people that were not young living members. Um, and it was really interesting. I feel like it's a lot of the same stuff I'll share on like my oils account or my personal account. But for some reason, people were so much more willing to ask questions and engage with me on there. I don't know if it's because it was private or what it was. I don't know if I was sharing differently or if it just felt differently because there was like this sense of urgency. I mean, the, the sale definitely helped like kick people over the edge that were sitting on the fence, but I'm extending it one more week just because the end of the month kind of got crazy and I didn't share it all, but it was, um, it was really interesting, like to see what people wanted to learn about. And I felt like I just had like a, a much better connection with the people that were interested in oils, then I get on my personal page. Um, cause that's like more of like life stuff and that's how people engage. But I mean, maybe it's not something that you guys can like duplicate in the same way. Like, I don't know what your, um, like what your time looks like or commitment level for something like that. Maybe you could try it like a two week thing just on your pages where it's like, you just tell people like, I'm going to be real gung ho. Like this is the boot camp for the next two weeks. But it really paid off and like it was exhausting, but it, it paid off. And I think it's definitely worth trying and making it your own. Um, but yeah, that, that was something that worked and I definitely encourage everyone to just give it a try in any way that works and how that looks for them. I love that, Jen. That's a great idea. I didn't know you did that. That's awesome. What, so how did you, you just told everyone that you were going to do a 30 day. Did you call it a boot camp or? Yeah, I just called it a boot camp. I ended up doing a reel. Um, and it's funny because people were not, there were some people that ended up joining the Facebook or the Instagram page that had not followed me prior. So they said they found me from the reel, which I was like, that's shocking. Okay. I didn't know that actually happens, but okay. Um, so yeah, I just, like I went through the starter kit and then I went through like some supplements and it's cool because I was just like, oh, well, maybe this can turn into like more of like a team kind of page later. So everything is kept in highlights and I don't know what I'll do with it now. If I'll just funnel kind of prospects into that or if it'll just be like a team page. But um, yeah, I mean, it was like literally everything from routines to supplements to hair care, makeup, everything. Um, and it was exhausting, you guys. So maybe start on like, a smaller scale if you're like just getting started or you don't have as many products. But I mean, there were people that gave feedback, like you're one of the only people that I've seen that actually like gave really in-depth things of how I could use these things in my daily life. And it was eye-opening to me because, 
you know, I, I I'll share about the starter kit and like just little tidbits, but like they were, it was really in-depth stuff. And I was like, I didn't even know people like, liked that kind of stuff, you know, but I felt like, cause it was private. I, I could do that and like do a million stories, but I just, I mean, I think it's worth trying you guys, even if you're just digging into the starter kit and doing like one oil a night on your stories, it was, it was really interesting to get that kind of feedback. So you should give it a try. Um, Hannah said something different I did last month was share my five to 10 product oils over and over on IG. I had customers try Ninja Red that have been on my team for over two years. Yay. So hero products. Hannah, do you want to unmute real quick and tell us about that for a couple minutes and then we'll, we'll wrap up. Okay. So I feel like, you know, we share something and you're like, well, they've already heard about this. Like, why would I talk about it again? And so I was like, this is really boring. Like I'm literally coming on and being like, I'm drinking my Ningxia again. <laughs> like I do this every morning. But like I said, I had two girls that have been on my team for over two years. And they're like, I wrote a Ningxia red because of your stories. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was absolutely shocked. Um, but the reason I got the idea was somebody had talked about it in like a different call that I was at and had said like, keep repeating because people are not going to see your stories every single day. They're going to go like zip on through and miss it. But she's like, just keep saying the same thing and then make highlights. So that's what I did. And I kept directing people like, this is a highlight about Ningxia. And then that had my really in-depth like story on why I started, um, which was a team challenge. That's why I even tried it. And I was like, hey, I'll just keep on repeating the same thing. So I'm not having to do the same work over and over, like to take a boomerang or a picture or whatever, a quick video of how I do my niche every day is not hard. And then I saved it to my phone so I can repost the same thing, obviously like not the same day in a row, you know, like every single day, but I can reuse those videos without having to keep on doing the same thing that makes any sense like you're not having to take a picture every day like you can repost something you already did and then I would put like a graphic over the top or change up the text um just do something different a fun song um and then I saved some of them not all of them but some of them to my Ningxia highlight and I did the same thing like with the bloom skincare um the thieves laundry soap and same with the thieves cleaner because those are like things we use all the time and now I'm going to work on the next five. So I only did five last month because I didn't want to like completely overload my stories um, since I was doing like super in-depth stuff to save the highlights. Oh, Justin's Plus. That was the other one. So those were my five last month. And then this month I haven't decided what my five are going to be. It's so hard to pick just five to ten. But so your hero was, product, so. Yeah, but it's working. Like I had a girl message me about Protestants Plus, was it two days ago? Cause she's like, I watched your highlight. And I was like, this girl never even talked to me before. I'm like, okay, awesome. <laughs> so just try it. It sounds like you think, oh my goodness. Like I talk, talk about this all the time or the day that you do your in-depth like thing on Protestants Plus or whatever your favorite thing is, you're going to think like, this is too many stories, like too many bubbles, like that stresses me out, but you're going to save it for a long time. Like it can be the same highlight for two or three years and nobody's going to care if they're just going to go back and it's the same information. So that's that. I love that. And Ashley always says like, it is true. Human psychology. She talks about how I think you have to show some when something like it's like seven or 14 times. Um, and so I'm an example of that. I followed her for a couple months and I think she had to invite me to a class seven or 14 times um, <laughs> before I finally went. But Casey Capra, I don't know if she's up here. She was up there. Um, I think she's still up here, but she on her Insta stories says Frank your face. And she's always up there. Even if she's not talking about it, she's like rolling her face with frankincense and she'll have it in words. And even though I know about Frank your face, y'all, I'm Frank in my face a whole lot more because of her. <laughs> what in the world is little psychology it's so true if people see you doing something over and over and over and over there's someone else i follow on instagram she fills her diffuser every morning legit every single morning it's like the same it might be a different cup it might be different oils but every morning i see her do it and i've gotten so many of my diffuser blends from her so there's something about that um okay 
we're five minutes over. I want to honor your time, especially in the recording. I hope that you got something out of this call. Tracy, do you want to wrap up and just tell us like about how we're going to do the product credits and next week, and then we can end the call? Oh my gosh, that was so good. Thank you so much, Rachel. And everybody who shared tonight, like you don't even know the ripple effect of how much you're, you coming on here and sharing your story or sharing your tip, it's helping so many different people. So thank you for doing that. So what we did is we took a screenshot of everybody who was on the call tonight and we'll be reaching out to you and we'll shout you out and let you know who the winners are. So woohoo, so excited for that. Um, and then show up you guys every single Monday. We'll, we will be recording, but there's something about being here live. You can ask your questions live, right? You can share live, but we're doing these every Monday and we're alternating, okay? So this was a, a nighttime class. Next week, it's gonna be a daytime class. So be ready at noon. So it's, we're gonna be alternating day and night, day and night so that it can accommodate different schedules, different time zones. So if you've got people on here who are like in South Africa, Philippines, Australia, Europe, you know, invite them to come onto the daytime calls. Um, I also think that these calls can be great to do like a, a, a watch party for people who weren't able to make it, maybe because they had littles or they had, they're in a different time zone. So that's something that you can also do, uh, but stay tuned. We'll put it up into a playlist so that you can check it out, but so excited. And thank you so much, Rachel, for leading us tonight. You have such a gift. Uh, for sharing and for giving us so many nuggets of gold. They were all like, what's the script? I copied it so we can put it into like a post or something so that we can reshare. But Rachel, seriously, you're such a gift. Thank you so much for just the real talk, giving us those tidbits. I think tonight, everybody's got something that they can now carry on and put into action right away. I'm like the action get shit done person. So thank you for that. We love you and hope you guys have a phenomenal week. We're going to do it. See you guys next Monday. Bye.